Let's take a look at this program called Fuse ISO. It's a command line program to mount your images. And they support, what is that, ISOs, IMG, bin file, NRG files. Uh, only single session, not multi session uh, images, okay? Uh, so, the reason why I like this one over the mount command is because you don't need root privileges to use this. Uh, and it's actually easier to remember because you don't have to do like mount dash o loop dash t or some bullshit like that. I never remember that one. Anyways, um, another one is um, what was that? You don't have to make the folder ahead of time and then mount it to it, which is kind of a waste of time. But this one has a command that does it automatically, and it will delete the folder once you unmount uh, on the fly. Also, okay. Uh, so I'll give you an example. We have a few ISOs of distros here, and we're just going to use fuse ISO, and we do the dash p. This one will tell it to create the folder if it doesn't exist. Okay. The good thing about using dash p is that uh, when you unmount, uh, it will just delete the folder on the fly. Also, okay. So I'm giving you a visual here. So right now we don't have. Um, you know the folder we'll call it uh, ABC or something so there's no folder called ABC in here okay but um, if we you know mount it so we're gonna use our Kubuntu ISOs here and we're gonna mount it to our home folder so the squiggy line slash and we'll call it ABC right and there you go we have uh, folder ABC now now if you open it it'll just have all your content of that ISO which is our Kubuntu here. Basically, that's how you access it and everything. Now, why would you want to use this over the archive mounter? Um, the archive mounter is is good for looking at your files, but uh, some other programs they require you to have um, what's that? Like a you know a directory path like this. So you have like home, username, and then ABC. Uh, for programs like play on Linux or wine or something like that they require you to have that and this is what I you know recommend if you're gonna do this uh, is fuse ISO otherwise you can use the mount one if you want it also uh, if you want to unmount it they actually use a different command which is called fuse user mount and we do dash u for unmount and then we just point it to the folder that we want. So the folder is just in our home folder, which is squiggy line slash ABC. And that's it. We're unmounted and it's gone. There's no more ABC folder. So that's uh, the convenience of Fuse ISO. There's no making a new directory or anything like that. It'll just, you know, make one on the fly and delete one once you're unmounted. And you don't need uh, root privileges to mount your ISOs anymore. Anyways, that's a useful program um, from the command line. That'll be it for this one.